Ladies and gentlemen, my name is The Lawrence, and welcome to the final press conference for Bowser Jr. versus Boogie live this Saturday, two days away from the undisputed Cruiserweight Championship fight. It's going down. Undefeated champion Bowser Jr. takes on the next challenger in Boogie, also undefeated, coming off a massive win. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Who is going to win? I don't know. We'll find out. It, on Saturday night, who will win this fight? Now, without further ado, we're bringing these fighters up to the stage. First, coming up to the stage, holding an undefeated record of 1-0, he, please welcome the challenger, Bloogie. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, bitches. It's my time. I'm knocking Bowser Jr. the fuck out. And now his opponent coming up to the stage. Also holding an undefeated record of 26-0. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed cruiserweight champion of the world. The Dragon Prince, Bowser Jr. What's up, guys? Let's go. It's my time. I am knocking this clown on the canvas. Let's go, boys. I cannot wait. Who has got the first question? Question for Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr., obviously, you're making your next title defense, but it's against an unranked contender. How do you feel about that? Undeserving? You know, this guy has not deserved to be here today with me. Cap. Already interruptions, but well, I don't really give a fuck. This guy just thinks he's all that. He's going to get absolutely dominated. You know, this build-up is getting boring. I'm just ready to go out there and knock him out. I'm just saying the same shit. I have nothing else to say. Because you're scared. How am I scared? Like, bro, you're literally one of my easier fights. If I was scared of somebody else, which I'm not. Sorry, you are scared. Okay, great. I, I, I um, finally figured that out. You ain't figured out jack shit. You're a fucking bum. You're going to get absolutely dominated on Saturday, and I'm excited to fucking break you. you. You're lucky enough to even get this fight, bro. Like, bro, you're lucky enough to even challenge me for a title shot. So don't even act like you deserve this opportunity because you do not. And I'm going to make you quickly realize that you ain't shit, and you're going to get smoked when we get in that ring on Saturday night. So tune in, guys. Tune in. Bro, you're going to tune into watching and your face broken. Yeah, right. We'll see about that little bitch. All right, guys. Chill, chill, chill. Question for the both of you. Well, okay. What's good? All right. So, obviously, you guys have this massive fight this weekend between you and Baluki. There's also another championship fight this weekend for the light heavyweight title. Also, the UFC welterweight title. The trilogy between Leon Rocky Edwards and Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare Usman. What is your guys' prediction for that? Now, I, f I do want Leon Edwards to win, but I do think about, um, I think Kamaru Usman is going to win. I think um, Leon Edwards did not get a fluke win. It was just perfect timing, and he was fighting with everything to get that, that victory on August 20th, and he did. Nothing to take away from him from that performance. He did get beat. He was losing the fight, but that doesn't mean he lost. He did win. And he's a champ right now. But I feel like Usman's coming for vengeance. I feel like he's going to be prepared. And I think Kamaru Usman is going to win this fight. I think by late TKO or a unanimous decision. Yeah, right. Leon Edwards is knocking him the fuck out again. Do you even hear yourself? Yes, I fucking hear myself. Leon Edwards is going to smoke him. Bro, you ain't, you're so delusional. It's not even funny. Luki, you're the one that's delusional. Like, bro, you really don't understand what you're getting yourself into. I know what I'm getting into, and it's going to be me dominating you in that ring on fucking Saturday, little bitch. You're getting smoked in there. You're getting absolutely smoked. You ain't shit. You ain't shit, bro. You're getting fucking slept. I'm putting you on the canvas. You're not ready for me, and you're going to realize that. We'll see, Bluegie. We will see. It ain't no scene with me. No scene. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I'm knocking you out. I have nothing else to say about that. It's all me. It's going to be dominating this fight. Y'all are going to realize that real quick when I go out there and I smoke this kid. Bro, you're the amateur here. I never said I wasn't. So you admit you're not ready. Ha! I got you, little bitch. You really can get me with that one. You're a fucking idiot, bro. 
You're literally a moron. Like, bro, you're so delusional. It's not even funny. We're going to see who's delusional when I knock you out on Saturday. You ain't knocking out shit. You are a bum. You are a straight up a bum. You're a fucking bum. You're getting smoked in the ring on Saturday. But you're going to realize that when we get in there. Like, you're not beating me. There's nothing you can do to stop me. And I'm going to knock you out. And that's, that's all she wrote. Yeah, whatever, little bitch. You ain't shit. I'm all I'm gonna say is you are dead in that ring on Saturday. Death threats. Nice. Nice. Are you copying their fucking little boyfriend, Mega Man? Bro, Mega Man would smoke you. The fuck you talking about? Bro, I'll knock him out. Even quicker than I'm gonna knock you out. Dude, you really are talking out of your own ass, are you? Nah, bro. I'm just speaking facts. Mega Man is a fucking trash can of a fighter. Yes, a trash can. That's why he has much more wins than he's beating much better competition than you ever fought. Get the fuck out of here with your dumbass lies. You are an idiot. You ain't shit. You're overrated as a fighter. You're overhyped. You won one fight against a guy with over 20 losses. Like, just stop it, bro. Just stop it. You're not all that. And when I get in that, when we get in that ring, you're getting absolutely smoked. We'll see. We'll see, little bitch. All right, next question. Question for Bluegie. Luki, you are an underdog. You're a massive underdog for this fight. You're also extremely inexperienced going into this fight. You're also unranked. So it seems like all the odds are against you here. What makes you so confident you're going to be the one to defeat Bowser Jr. on Saturday? My skills is impeccable. There's nothing that I can't do. If the, and even this guy does, I do better. This guy is so delusional. It's the same What'd you say, bitch? When were you fucking deaf? I said, this guy is so stupid. It's not, he doesn't even realize it. Because it's true. You're an idiot. You don't even realize how stupid you sound right now. It ain't stupidity. It's called confidence. Yeah, well, your confidence is going to go all the way from here to down here in a millisecond. I, when I lay those first combinations on you in that ring, in your confidence boost, your ego is going to go down. Because you're not, you're actually gonna fight someone that fights back. You had one fight against a guy who stood there to be knocked out. You are not anything special. You're getting smoked in that ring. When we go in the ring on Saturday, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. You're getting absolutely dominated. You're not on my level. That's fucking clearly over the, the Aunt Clay case here. All this fucking stuttering you're doing. The fuck is all that shit? I also don't care. I don't care, bro. You're a kid. Oh, I'm stuttering. <laughs> Go ahead and make your dumb bullshit ass stupid little statements. I do not give a fuck. I don't give a single rat's ass. All what's going to happen is me breaking you on Saturday. So get ready. Enjoy your little fucking 15 minute of fame. Because when I knock your ass out on the canvas, you're going to realize it. And you're gonna, you're no, not gonna be relevant anymore. No one's gonna give a shit about you. And yeah, literally, no one's gonna care about this guy after I whoop his ass. So, yeah, whatever, bitch. We'll see. When I'm the world champion and you're the number one contender, crying for the rematch. But we'll see. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll see about that little bitch. Okay. Next question. Question for Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr., why are you fighting Bluey? Well, I don't know why I should have took the, I don't know why it's this fight. I just wanted to stay active and there was no contenders that were available to fight. You know, obviously you have Twist the Wolf and Johnny on April 8th. You have Bonnie versus Deadpool on April 15th. No one else in the division really deserves it. Although, Purple Fox here is coming off a win against Alex Pereira. I just defeated Mega Man. Um... Like, these, Bruce Lee is winning, but he's, like, very low in the rankings. Although, I am fighting Bluegie, so I can't really talk about that. But, like, he wasn't really in line for a title shot. He wants to get his wins up because he's an actual fighter who wants to work hard for what he gets. Unlike this fucking pussy that has fucking privilege. Oh, I'm privileged. I'm fucking privileged. You are a highly privileged. You, you are lucky to be sitting across me on stage, let alone beating me. You're lucky to be here, in general. You're lucky to be headlining in your second fight. So be grateful that you're in this situation. 
You're going to get absolutely dominated. Your beating's going to be terrible. But you're going to get a lot of money for this. You're going to go back to your family. You might even retire after this fight for all I didn't give a fuck. And you're going to see. Bro, you don't even know what the fuck you're even talking about. You think I'm going to retire? Yes, because I'm going to whoop your ass so bad that no one's going to give a shit about you after I beat you. So how about that, bitch? Wow, what a fucking idiot this guy is. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Yeah, I'm totally a fucking idiot, but you're the brain dead one here, you fucking moron. We'll see the fucking moron is when I knock you out on Saturday. Yeah, we will see, bitch. We will see. Because there's nothing that's going to save you in that ring on Saturday night. You're just going to get whooped. You're going to go home to your family. I'll make it pay I won't make it as painful as the other fights I've beaten up. Other fighters I've beaten up. But don't say you, you're not going to go home in one piece. Ooh, so scary. Wow. I don't need to be fucking scary. I can fight. I don't need to scare people to beat that. I'm not fucking Pennywise. I work hard. I don't care. I like when the fighter is not scared and fearless. I like a fighter who's determined to be where they are. Because it's me enjoying them whooping their ass even better. Next question, please. Um, Question for Blue Bluegate. If you go out there and you do get the victory over Bowser Jr., will there be an immediate rematch or will you fight the winner of Twist the Wolf versus Johnny? Uh, winner of Twist the Wolf versus Johnny, so the, it's a fresh fight because after I dominate Bowser Jr., he's not going to want to fight again. And wow, bro, what a f bro, you're so damn delusional. Yeah, right. But I mean, if we can make the rematch right away in the summertime and the fucking. Fall, I, I or not, not the fuck, not the fall, the spring. This guy doesn't even know his fucking seasons. He is gonna beat me. He's too stupid to even know his season. Oh, brother, you're you don't know what you're getting yourself into. I I think I've given you brain damage mentally, and now the brain damage is gonna be even worse on Saturday when I beat you. So yeah, get ready. We'll see about the junior. Yes, we will see, Bluey. We will see. You'll be dominated and you'll be broken. So get ready to get an ass whooping of your life. LOL. Who the fuck just says LOL anymore? That's not even... Bro, what what the hell is this man on, bro? Fucking saying abbreviated words in real life. Like, this ain't fucking Snapchat. We're not fucking DMing each other on Instagram. We ain't fucking talking on Twitter, bitch. This is in person. We are in person. And this motherfucker says LOL. I am, I'm not fucking having a champion in my division that goes lol. Fucking hell, what a clown. Wow, you're just so angry you'll judge anything I do. Lol. What a child. No wonder why he has nine on his blood. Drive his age. Oh, that's it, little bitch. Oh, what's up? No, guys, chill. Yeah, what's up? Chill, chill, chill. Mm. Guys, chill, 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 chill. Oh, I pissed you off with that one. Bro, I ain't fucking nine years old. You're looking the wrong way, you fucking moron. Bro, I ain't nine years old, bitch. Don't fucking disrespect me. Oh, I consider it disrespect. What a softy. Fuck you, you little pussy. I'm knocking your bitch ass out. So I can't wait. I can't wait, bro. This Saturday, you and me in that ring, you're done, bitch. You're fucking done. Get ready. You're gonna cry to your mommy. Oh, wait, she's with Gorilla Johnny now. Ha ha. You're going to cry to your daddy because I don't give a shit. When I win this fight, I'll go up and fight Bowser too. Okay, now you're asking for a death wish. Bro, shut the fuck up. I didn't know what I'm going to do. I will fight both Bowser Jr. and Bowser on the same night, and I'll smoke both of them in the two rounds. Holy shit, your ego is so bad. You think you can beat me and my dad in two rounds on the same night? We literally end you in one. Good luck with ending me in one run because when I win and I start dominating you, I start breaking you, you're going to be like, oh, fuck. This guy really is about that life. I should not have gotten the ring with this guy. I should have waited for a contender. But get ready, bitch. Get ready. Yeah, you're privileged ass. All right, guys. All right. couple more. We're going to get the final prediction in the face-off. Brother Junior prediction. First round KO. 45 seconds. Light work. This is going to be easy work. Low. Here we go again with the fucking law. Say it one more time, I'll come over there and slap you. Law. Are you asked for it, little bitch? Bowser, chill, chill. Come on. Whoa, Bowser, chill. Guys, chill, 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 chill. 
Now I'm in your head, boy. You're done. Let's go. Yeah. Ah. Saturday night, this guy is getting knocked out. Yeah, right. All right, guys. Lugie, your prediction. Round three, knockout. Let's fucking go, bitches. It is my time to shine. I will go out there and end this clown. Get ready, guys. Get your popcorn. Get your tickets. It's going to be absolutely chaotic in that ring. And I can't wait to put this bitch to sleep. So let's go. We'll see. All right, guys. Thank you for coming out to the final press conference of Bowser Jr. vs. Bluegie live March 18th. You don't want to miss this fight. It's going to be absolute fireworks. All right, guys. Let's get the face off. We guys do not hit each other. Let's go, bitch. Yeah, you're done, bro. You're fucking finished. You are finished. Saturday night, boy. You're getting knocked the fuck out. you getting knocked the fuck out. I promise you. I promise you, you look scared, bitch. You look scared. You shaking. Oh, I can't wait for Saturday. You are done. D O N E. Done. This bitch is done. done. I ain't even gonna fight back. You're, you're just fucking screwing yourself over. Let's face for it. You're scared, bitch. He's fucking scared. Yeah, alright. He's scared. He's a pussy. I am knocking him out. You're done. Ah! 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 Yeah, chill, 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 chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't talk this shit, bro. You ain't talk this shit. Bro, bitch. Yeah, what you gonna do? Hello, boy? Let's go, bitch. Let's go right now. Yeah, you done. You done, bitch. Yeah, what's up? Oh, that's it. Chill, 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 chill. Damn. Yeah. Yo, bitch. Get ready, guys. It's gonna be fucking carnage on Saturday. He's getting knocked out. Ah! Woo! Intense fear focus about the junior and blue dude. These two could not wait to get their hands on each other. Pause. Okay, pause. And now we'll see who wins on Saturday. We'll see at the weigh-ins tomorrow and the fight on Saturday night. Peace out.